Okay, I'm Cassandra Mathy, I'm a documentary photographer and my most recent body of work has been Scattered People which deals with the lives of refugee claimants in Brisbane. This body of work came about after I returned to Australia after three years of travelling. I was photographing during this time and was dealing with a lot of issues to do with identity, fallout of war and unsettled forced migrations and things like that. Um, when I was working in a Palestinian camp in Lebanon, I was working with a whole community of people who were displaced and removed from their homeland with a whole lot of uncertainty about returning and whether their homeland actually exists as they know it. Um, that's where I came in to document ideas about who people are and also the idea of retaining a culture whilst being forced to live in another culture or choosing to live in another culture. And so on my return to Australia I wanted to continue working with these issues but in my own environment and my own backyard which I think is an area that we often neglect to look at. The people who I've selected to work with all belong to a community organisation which is a support organisation. Um, and I've chosen to work with, at this stage, three different families representing different areas of migration and unsettled areas. Um, I've worked with a Sri Lankan family, a Colombian couple and a Russian couple and I'm looking to further the work into Horn of Africa. This image from a Sri Lankan family I'm working with, this is a shrine that they've set up which is in Sri Lanka, sort of the centrepiece of their home. It's a ritual which they go through every day of giving thanks. Within this structure you not only see the Sri Lankan god but we've got Buddhist which is their religion and then also the introduction of Jesus Christ which is obviously a reflection on Australian society. Um, this is a I guess a good indication of how people are making that transition yet still retaining the essential elements of their culture. It's a very confidential issue and you have to be able to confide in these people and be able to give them a sense of being able to relate to you and relax with you and also they have a feeling of contribution to the project. It's a project that's combined with not only my work but their storytelling as well and basically that's what this project is about is storytelling. As a photographer, I think that's my strongest ability is to be able to tell the stories of people who in many senses don't have a voice of their own and aren't given the opportunity to often express their stories. The people who I've worked with have made their own homes here in Queensland and when I was photographing, visiting and talking with these people, that's what I was interested in, how, how they've brought bits of their culture and their past life into this new environment and how they have created, I guess, a living space that gives them the comfort to go on and still have connections to their home life. The other three images that are here today all come from a Colombian couple. The concept of doors I've used quite widely and um, it's the notion of is the door open, is the door shut. They've been in Australia for almost three years now and their fate is still not decided. The most recent news is though that they will have to return to Colombia which is very uncertain for them and their future. So um, when I've been photographing them the sense of limbo and the sense of insecurity is what I've been looking at because it's very evident in this time in their lives. And I've not only looked at the present but also the past. In one of the images here, I have the original suitcase that they came to Australia with. They came via the United States and were on standby. So nothing since that day has really been sure for them. And I think this shot is a good indication of what it means to be a refugee claimant. And um, other clients and claimants who I've shown my work to feel that the inclusion of standby is just such an indication of their lives and how their lives are put on hold until somebody else makes a decision on what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. This one is probably one of my favourite images. Um, I think the symbolism in this image 
is very strong and doesn't only relate to this one one couple and one family I'm working with. I think the ideas of uncertainty, limbo and somewhat people after a certain while of not knowing where they're going have this sort of complacency of, well, you know, what do we do? And someone once said to me that I don't plan to be on tomorrow because I have to live my todays, which I think is very true for all of the people because tomorrow is something that they can't really deal with emotionally some of the times because of the uncertainty of what it may bring for them. It's a, it was a very emotional body for me to do of work and the people that I've worked with now have become really close friends of mine and it's not something that once I've completed the project I switch off. I think it's an evolving body of work as well that isn't you know, definitive now. It's probably work that will continue. One couple have already been given their final notice that they're to be deported from Australia. They've put in an application of appeal to the minister but this is more routine and the hope of that actually you know, coming through with a positive outlook is really, really slim and they've been here for almost three years now and have established their lives and to me and what I've witnessed, they're one of the most dedicated couple that I've seen to making it work here, studying English three times a week, getting involved with, you know, everything they can culturally as, you know, and it's just, it's devastating to me to know that these people that I've become to love uh, you know, their, their future's uncertain now and they're deported and who knows what's going to happen. They're afraid and that, that scares me because it's their country and they know the situation. Their lives would pro you know, have had a really big and probably will continue to have a really big impact on me and my work forever. Sing of tomorrow, we shall